An upstate school district bus drivers still get to see their young passengers every day. Scotty Kay tells us they're delivering meals to those students. I enjoy my bus babies is what I call them. Um, just seeing them every morning. Lisa Watson has been driving a school bus for the past 15 years. I won't sling y'all around. In fact, the parents of some of her current bus riders rode her bus as well. My day started and ended with her. She's just the best. I love her to pieces. And they love her just as much as I do. When Watson learned that schools across South Carolina would be closed due to the coronavirus outbreak, she was worried. Are we going to be able to see our kids? Are we going to get a paycheck? Luckily for Watson, she'll get both because those in Spartanburg District 5 realize the only meals some children get are the meals they get at school. They've come up with a plan. They've got district employees packing breakfast and lunch bags, loading them onto buses, and then having the bus drivers like Watson deliver the meals to students who need them. Hear that horn beeping and um, they're, they're, they're running out. So even though her bus has been extra quiet the past few days, yeah, you get choked up. Watson still gets to see her current bus babies. Pulling up at the bus stop and seeing those big huge smiles of them knowing that they are getting food and hopefully because they're getting to see me too. But. Thank you. You have a good day. And former bus babies who say they're forever grateful for Watson and the school district. It does help a lot, yeah, so there's plenty of snacks. That lunch and that breakfast costs a lot of money and the kids love it. We're being told drivers and volunteers delivered lunches to more than 3,000 students in just one day. There's a whole lot.